So we have got our water sprayer full of water and we've got three little plastic spiders and we're pretending these are wincy wincy spider and we're going to find a way to keep them dry from the rain which is going to be from the water sprayer. So this spider I've made an umbrella out of paper. So we're going to put him here. And this one we've made our kitchen foil. Kitchen foil. So we put him there. What's that one made of? This one is made of felt. Very good, so let's put him here. We've got all our spiders in a row. So, you'll notice a few things. What we've tried to do to keep the experiment fair, we've used the same size spiders, we've used the same size square of material for the umbrella. So, again, we've got paper kitchen foil and felt and we're going to use the same amount of water sprayed on each one. So the one variable that we're changing is the material that the umbrella is made from. So Hannah, which do you think will be the most waterproof? Do you think it will be the paper, the foil or the felt? Do you think the foil will be the most waterproof? Why do you think that? Because nothing can get through. Nothing can get through. So what do you think will happen to the paper? It will just go on the spider. You think the paper will go on the spider? So do you think the paper... Not the paper, the, the water. water. And what do you think, it, what, can you think of anything that might happen to the paper when it gets wet? Can you think of anything that might happen to the paper when it gets wet? No. No? Shall we see? And what do you think will happen with the felt? The umbrellas are a bit tricky. You think the felt will be the same as the foil? Okay. So what I want you to do is you might need to stand up and give one really good spray of water on each one. So right on the top, like it's raining on in Oh, Right, we are ready. So how many squirts should we do on each one? Two. So two squirts on the top of each one. Good one. And then this one, whoops, he's fallen over. Okay, and on this one, and then we'll have a look at them all. So two squirts on the paper. Whoa, <laughs> on the paper. Okay, oh, now that was that was four. So now we have to do two more squirts on the other two. So just two, and that makes it a fair test between all the materials. Okay, right. So now we're going to have a look. So what has happened to the felt? It's gone all wet. It feels wet. Does it feel wet on the inside? No. No. So has it kept in C and C dry? Yes. It has. Right, okay, let's try the foil. What do you notice first? What do you notice about the water on here? It's squishy. It's squishy. So we can see the water on this one, can't we? Yeah, if we shake it, the water comes off. What happens if we shake the felt one? Does the water come off? So the water's been, do you remember what the word is? It's been absorbed into the felt, hasn't it? But it's stayed on top of the foil. It's dry. It is, it's dry underneath, yeah. And what's happened to the paper? It's gone soggy. <laughs> it's gone a bit soggy, but isn't he dry? No. <laughs> He's a bit wet, isn't he? And can you see the water on top of the paper, or has it been absorbed into the paper? It's been absorbed into so, the paper. So, what could we do now? Should we give them some more sprays? Yeah. Let's stand all our spiders up again. And they've got a little bit wet now, so I might have to hold them. So if you do, how many more sprays should we do on the felt one? Um, six. Go on then, six sprays on the felt one. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was seven. Right, seven on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the paper, and then we'll have a look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, right, very good. Okay, let's look at them. Felt first. Right, give it a shake. Oh, does any water come off? No. And what do you notice about the felt? Should we look on the... Is it wet still? No, no. Is it? Is it starting to come through? Yeah. So is the felt waterproof? No. No, because we can see that the water started to come through to the other side. So let's try the foil. If we shake it, yes. what happened? The water comes off. And is it dry on the inside? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So is the foil waterproof? Yes. And what's happened to the paper? It's 
You can make holes in it. Should we see if we can? Can you make a hole in it? Oh, the paper rips very easily. So would that be a good umbrella? No. Would the foil be a good umbrella? Yes. Would the felt be a good umbrella? No. So which would be the best umbrella for Incy Wincy Spider? The foil. <laughs> Incy Wincy So what did we find out, Hannah? That this is the best one. Oh, do you think a piece of plastic would be waterproof? No? I think it might be. Can we do? You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Can you spray some water on the plastic bag and we'll see what happens? Mm -hmm. This is just a plastic food bag. What do you notice about the water on here? You can see it. Because it, we can make it roll around. So is the plastic bag waterproof? Yes. Yeah. yeah, should we spray some more water on? Yeah. Sit here then people can see. So what happens to the water? You can see and it wobbles. It stays on the top of the bag, doesn't it? So is the plastic waterproof? Yes. And would that be a good umbrella for Incy Winter Spider? Yeah. Yeah. Right, what did we say to everyone? Thank, Thank you. Thank you for listening. See you soon.